Hey everyone, I'm Crystal. This is going to be for all signs, okay? Whoever's drawn, okay? Remember, it's a general reading. Only take the parts that resonate for you. Okay, so the first card that... Oh my god. Okay. Thought. That hoe over there. Of course, that's going to be one of the first cards that fall out, okay? Victim mentality. Can't cope, won't cope. So somebody... You might be dealing with somebody who's always trying to blame something on somebody else. It's like... Or blame their situation or, you know, things on other people, right? It's like they're not trying to take full responsibility for their own actions. They may be um, talking to other people. This could be a love relationship to where this person is always going outside of the relationship or has went outside of the relationship. You have insatiable, yeah. Impossible to satisfy. It's like no matter what you do, I feel like you feel like you can never be good enough for this person. Um, and this person always tries to make you feel bad for the things that they do. Um, you have differences, like one thing is not like the other. So I feel like, um, you are very different. These are all blue and then this one in the middle is red, but it's black and white. So you guys can't see, but it's like you stand out from the rest and it's like, you're not, <sighs> I feel like this person can't let go of you because you're different from the rest, but it's like, this person is so like drawn to so many other people. It's like they, they're impossible to satisfy. This person just can't get enough, right? I feel like you're never going to feel good enough. Yeah, love affair. Intense un <clears throat> and unlikely. PTSD. Somebody might be really stressing out. And um, with the PTSD and escapism, somebody might be always running away from their problems. They don't want to face it because then they have to deal with the drama and the stress, right? But they don't realize if they face it, this will be something that helps them heal. It's like they'd rather not look at it. They'd rather just go the other way and keep on put, making, you know, negative decisions, which is hurting them in the long run. You have cursing themselves. It's like everything that they do, it falls back on them. They're causing a lot of karma, okay, towards them, not in a good way, okay? So it's like all the negative shit that they do to you, to themselves, to other people is coming back on them. And it's like they're cursing themselves. So all the bad that they're doing, like they keep on blaming their life. Oh, my life is so shitty, blah. Blah, blah blah it's because they're not fixing it and they keep on doing negative shit so all that negative shit all that worry all that shit that they're putting out there they're getting what they give right they make bad decisions and then they regret it later it's like this person can't make up their mind of what it is that they want <clears throat> you have they broke your heart fuck them um so the universe <laughs> spirit universe ask a, ask a fucking expert don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. So I feel like maybe you guys are trying to get advice from your friends or something or getting advice from people who don't really know what they're talking about. Make sure you guys are going to people for advice who've actually been in that situation. Don't go to people who are not experienced, okay, in the things that you want to know about. You have fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. I feel like your person's like being called to apologize to you, but they're just not doing it. Um, and you have laughs. So it's like you guys might be taking a lot of time stressing, worrying a lot. The universe is saying it's time for you guys to go out and have some fun. Go enjoy yourself. Like, go have a laugh. Don't be stuck, you know, upset all the time. Life's too um, short to be upset or focused on one person who's not really focused on you. You got the Page of Pentacles, learning how to do things differently. I feel like the universe is trying to guide you in another direction, guide you towards your strength. For you to be able to make this decision, for you to be able to open your eyes and see things how they are. I feel like this situation is making you angry, it's making you upset, impatient, it's like it's unfair of the stuff that you're going through. I do feel like you're trying to remain strong through this. I do feel like you're feeling confused of what you should do with this. What's your challenge? The Three of Wands. It's like you're always waiting for this person to go back to the way that they used to be. You're always waiting for this person to put in the work that they say they're going to put in. But then, you know, it's like, it's almost like you're just waiting for like this, you know, it's like they make baby promises to you. It's not even like a real, it's like they just kind of try to say things to make you happy and then they don't do it, right? I feel like this person, let's see, why do they keep on going outside of the relationship? The Knight of Wands, because they're back and forth. This person has maybe like a sexual sex desire, um, sexual obsession, let me say. This person is just hot and cold, back and forth, in and out. They don't know what it is that they want, right? This person's just always like more and more and more. You have the Ten of Wands. This is starting to be too much. 
okay this is starting to be too much it's starting to be too heavy it's not allowing you know <clears throat> it's not happy anymore You have the Eight of Cups. I feel like you guys are ready to walk away from this person. The Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the world. It's like if you can't make up your mind and you want to keep on leaving me last, you want to keep on doing things behind my back, you know, don't don't be there for me. <laughs> I feel like you guys are working up the courage to kind of freaking walk away. I feel like this person does owe you an apology here. But even if they apologize, they might be somebody who apologizes all the time, too. And it's like, if you ain't doing anything to fix the problem, then why keep on apologizing for what? It's not doing anything anymore. Right? You want action behind it. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. I do feel like somebody's really stressing to see this clearly. I feel like somebody actually, somebody's stressing because they see this clearly now. Like, you're able to see right through this person. And I feel like this is helping you to be able to cut this out of your life cut this short you have the four of wands you're no longer going to be committed to the people who are stressing you out and who are not giving you what you deserve right with the temperance card i feel like you're healing from this you're growing from this it's like you're going with the flow taking your time even though you're in a rush to figure something out here and and i do feel like this is also a lot of anger i feel like you might be very angry at this person <clears throat> Yeah, you have a lot of love for this person. A lot, a lot of love for this person. But I feel like you're angry because you're not getting the love back from this person. I don't even feel like this person loves themselves enough. The Seven of Swords. No, this person this person does not see themselves as you see themselves. As you, as you see them. Like, they don't think highly about themselves. They actually think negatively about themselves. They run from the truth. This might be somebody who is always like lying um this might even not be cheating mostly it is but um so that's why you only take what resonates but like this person they do not have it together is this person going to fix themselves you have the wheel of fortune and the lover's card this person has to start loving themselves more and with the wheel of fortune this can almost be as like it's unpredictable you spin the wheel and you never know where it's going to land, right? And with this, the Wheel of Fortune, this is also about karma. So it's like this person curses themselves for hurting you. It's like the universe is going to make them suffer for the shit that they put you through. It's like they're going to have to suffer through the whole entire... Like anything that they've done to you, when they try to move on from you, it's going to be done to them in the same way. So that way they have a taste of their own medicine, right? And, you know, you do have a new beginning coming in for you. What else is coming in? Three of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. I definitely feel like this might be a breakup or just like a realization to where it's like this is just not going to work out. And I feel like somebody's going to be walking away here. I kind of feel like you're going to be the one walking away from this person in a crickets in my basement somewhere. So if you heard that, but it was like kind of like confirmation. I feel like there's a real fear here of moving on and missing out on an opportunity. But if something's meant for you, it'll always come back. Okay. But for now, this person's really hard to please. This person doesn't want to stay committed. They keep on leaving you out in the cold. They make assumptions. They jump too quickly. It's like this person always is on the go, go, go. What more can I get, right? And I feel like that's not what you're looking for. You want somebody that's going to treat you right, somebody that you're going to be able to depend on, right? <clears throat> Private investigator, inspector, gadget. Some of you guys might be digging deep to look um, to to find some type of information. You might be searching their phone. Maybe you've seen a message pop up on their phone. But I feel like this person doesn't even try to hide it. They're not even good at hiding it at all. You have avoidance, disassociation. Yeah, this person avoids any type of drama at all costs. Like any type of um, conversation about what it is that they're doing wrong. They will walk away and then they try to leave you guests and try to figure out, try to put the puzzle pieces together. You see how you got like the private investigator and then you got the puzzles. It's like you're trying to get all these pieces of the puzzle together to try to figure out what it is that you got to do next. But I feel like all you got to do is really listen to your intuition. Okay. <clears throat> This person might have a lot of money. You have loaded deep pockets. Or you might have a lot of money.
I do feel like this person might have you on. You might feel like this person has you under like some type of spell or maybe this person's very hypnotic. And it's like, even if they, they don't have, you don't feel like they have you under some type of spell. It's like this person could speak some type of way and then drag anybody in. They're very hypnotic. They draw people in like a magnet. They know the right words to say here. This person's very smart and calculated about what it is that they do. Extraterrestrial, out of this world. Remember I was saying this person sees you different as everybody else? Oh my God. This person, it's like, I feel like they can't let go of you because you're different than what they're used to. But yet this person is not trying to change. And then you have apathetic, could not care less. So it's like this person goes ahead and hurts everybody. And it's like, it's like they don't even care how they make other people feel. Gaslighting, psychological manipulation. Whoever this person is, guys, this person is just, this person's unpredictable. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, right? It's like you got to make sure. Yeah, you test this person out. Yeah, don't, don't, don't rush into anything with this person, especially if this person is new. Because I feel like you got some, if you guys get in a connection with this person, you guys might be regretting this. If this resonates for you for now or for soon in the future, really pay attention, okay? Don't allow anybody to do this, okay? This is like a reading for a lesson learned here for you to start setting stronger boundaries, okay? And don't let people walk all over you. That's what this reading is for. So you have the moon too. It's like... This might be, if you guys are dealing with this person right now, it might be a lot of fear here, a lot of emotions stuck into this situation, but don't worry, just make plans, keep on moving forward for yourself, okay? And with the Page of Wands, you have an idea of what it is that you want to do. I feel like you guys are inspired to do something else. There's a new journey that's coming in for you. Remain strong, okay? Um, change is not easy, but sometimes change is good, Okay? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, again, that's the universe two times in a row trying to tell you that you guys are going to be completely fine by yourself, but stay in high vibration. I just seen 12, 12. Stay, stay positive, stay on high vibration, and you guys will manifest that back into your life. Try not to let any, anybody or anything suck you back in, okay? So that's what I got, and I hope it resonates. Toodles, my loves.